The Charleston County School Board moved forward yesterday with proposed changes impacting schools across the county. Today, state legislative officials are pushing back against the decision to merge and close some schools. News 2's Riley Benson tells us what that pushback could mean. The Charleston County School District made sweeping changes at schools across the district yesterday. These changes have parents, community members, and legislative officials upset with the way these changes are being handled. Some even feel their concerns are not being heard. South Carolina State Representative Leon Stavernakis and other legislators say they are getting involved in the decisions being made by CCSD because members of the public are asking for help. Since being involved, we've had a similar experience where they're allowed to talk, but you don't get answers. Stavernakis says legislative officials have been unable to get questions answered. If the board doesn't change course of decisions being made, he says the House of Representatives could take action. Um, you will see votes in the House of Representatives uh, to put the brakes on what they're doing and force them to re-engage with the public. Todd Garrett, who is a member of the CCSD school board, says the board has been looking at making changes for years and the changes need to happen now. We've got disparities that are undeniable and this is an effort to try to create more opportunities across, more equitable opportunities across the district. Garrett says he knows the legislative representatives have a tough job, but he wishes they would let the school board work on the issues. Stavernakis tells me that the group of legislators simply wants the district to hear the concerns of the parents, teachers, and community members that have been bringing them forward since this process began. Stavernakis also tells me that the earliest the House will be able to hear these issues on the floor would be the second week of January when they have returned from Christmas break. In downtown Charleston, Riley Benson, Count on Two.